New tonight, it is getting more and more expensive to feed the inmates at the Willisie County Jail. But it's not because of a spike in food prices. Here's Sarah Savetta with a hidden cost for taxpayers. More than 160 miles. That's a drive a Willisie County Sheriff deputy makes daily. In March of 2022, Sheriff Jose Salazar says they signed an agreement with the Cameron County Jail's food service provider. Twice a day, a Willisie County Sheriff deputy will drive to Cameron County's jail. Takes them away from their duties here at the jail, and you're talking about a maybe a two-hour round trip. The trip is to pick up meals for the more than 70 inmates housed in their jail. Salazar says the cost is already over budget. Currently, I'm budgeted over, well, at about $100,000 uh, just for inmate food. We're halfway through our, our, uh, our fiscal year, and I've already chewed that up. The Sheriff's Department used to have an agreement with the Regional Detention Facility in Raymondville. The private jail closed in 2022. At the time, meals cost the department $1 per meal, plus it was a shorter drive. Now, meals cost $2.56 very taxing, like I said, on our personnel, uh, on our equipment. And, you know, it's just, uh, uh, we, we do need to get a solution. One solution includes the kitchen in the current Willisie County Jail. This kitchen was never utilized for what it was intended to, for what it was built for. Okay. County Judge Aurelio Guerra says since the jail opened 20 years ago, they've relied on cheaper alternatives. It was definitely uh, more cost effective to get the meals from here next door than it was for us to open the kitchen. An option that is coming soon, Hidalgo County is taking over the detention facility in Raymondville. Judge Guerra says his county will consider working with Hidalgo County for the new meal plan. But what I think we ought to do is, is first of all, is, is uh, uh, help in any way uh, Hidalgo County to open the facility, mm -hmm. then uh, see what the numbers are gonna show in terms of the cost for uh, providing the meals to uh, Willisie County and then take it from there. For now, their temporary fix to feed inmates will continue. Uh, consider to wait it out. Hopefully the facility will open soon so that we can arrive at how much is the cost. But Judge Guerra says if they don't like the price, the second alternative is to open up the jail's current kitchen. Sarah Cervera. Channel 5 News at 10.